V, I wanted to speak with you. What did you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But... Why are you doing this? Because it's important to you. But... is that all? I... Sorry. That sounded worse than I intended. Listen, V, I... I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cut this up. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh. Noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you... I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right, let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. We could Sit still your ass down a minute, honey. Breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. You worried about Saul? quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another one somewhere. The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? 
Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Saul was right about Snake Nation. You should remain independent. Otherwise, you could end up like... Like the backers. <laughs> we'll manage just fine on our own. All we need is a few good jobs. To get people talking about the Aldecaldos again. And that's why we're here today. Scorpion would be proud. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. And to Jackie. talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. And it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Grown kind of cold out here. Not true. But this is nice. Catch some shut eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. Ah, shit! Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, B. Than we thought. 
but I don't know if we can catch them. Uncouple one of the cars. It'll speed you up. Hey, no coming in hot. Take out that couple. Plan, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You'd better move. Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me. Thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck! Pan Am! So 
Now it begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seem to still be in fine working order. Family's with you on this, I think. Sure. Where did you get that impression? All I heard was silence. Saw them looking at that basilisk, drooling. Nomads, panzers, panzers, nomads. You had them from the start. We'll see. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. <laughs>